Now, you're also training boxers. Absolutely. If you're serious about boxing, man, your gym is the place to go. I, I, and, I, I, I think so, Ken. Uh, I think, you know, we've really, you know, I'm not sure how this is going to come out. I've had a number of young men to come around. Um, I say young men, I mean like 27, 28, 30, 32, 33, and they're, they're wanting to start boxing. And because I turned pro 25 days before my 32nd birthday, I am encouraging them. But they don't understand what I put into it. They think I just started, and, and I always say, hey, okay, I started, I said, look at me, look at 30, I'm 32, look at all the things I've accomplished, and I started at 32. But he's not seeing all the work I put into it mm -hmm. before then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What I've really made, you know, like I told you that when I go into Wayne State, I poured my heart into it. I poured my heart into Rochester. I poured my heart into, you know, to Northern Michigan where I went to grad school. I poured my heart into what I was doing. Wait, I, so you, you're telling me that stuff just doesn't happen overnight? No. Like, like this, I mean, wait, so you just can't like order this on, you know, online, you just doesn't, I mean, no, immediate no. gratification, you can't just, what? No, no, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. And although we wish, we wish it did, but it's it just that, that way you have to really, like, you gotta really hunker down and say, hey, what it is that I want to do and just start doing it. Just start it. Just start it. Just start, just start, start something. First. Just start something. Whatever it is, just start. Just hit that direction. You know, you, you hear different things, you know, maybe religious beliefs or just spirituality. If I take one step towards, you know, goodness or positivity, that positivity would take two steps towards me. You mean like, hey, you'd be surprised at you're on the side of the road, okay, and I'm out of gas or I got a flat, but I'm trying to push my car and hold a steering wheel at the same time, push my car. You'd be surprised how many people come to help you because they see you out there trying to help yourself. But if you're just sitting in the car, you know, if you're sitting in the car listening to music with your, with your music blasting and you're in, this, you're in a bad situation, someone's going, they're going to drive right by you and say, man, I hope somebody stop by and help me push the car around the corner or I got a flat. I mean, just start doing it. Just start doing something. I just start it. all the time. Just, just start something. Just start. Just, just do it. And ask for yes. help. Learn. You know, be, be open to learning. Yes. You know, don't be afraid because there's so much out there. There's so much. There's so much in my gym that people have no, they see the sign outside and they're afraid. They see the sign outside. You, they, they'd love to go in. They'd love to check it out. But uh-uh, I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid. If you just take a step, just inside, just just look inside. And there's so much. And we're not talking, hey, come to my gym, come to you. We're talking about, you know, in anything, you know. I mean, there's, there's so much. I, I learned to skydive. I tell you that. Well, I, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm a skydiver now. <laughs> I was scared to death of that. You know what? I was scared to run a marathon. My, I see everybody else running marathons. I hate running. I hate it. I suck at it. I sucked at it before. Now, I'm actually, I, I, I said I'm going to run a marathon. I'm going to do something that, I, that, that frightens me. And let me tell you, man, look, I, I trained for six months for this first marathon. And literally, I thought I was... I, I'd run 20 miles two weeks before and then kind of tapered off. I was, I, I was winging it. I, had never, I didn't even know how to train for this thing, okay? I get there and I was, it was early in the morning and I literally had to run off about four times before this race into the bushes because I had to run so bad. <laughs> wow. I had the runs before I ran. So, I mean, it just scared me to death. And um, I, I ran it, I succeeded, I didn't die. And I, I've, ran, I've ran three or four more. I just, I just committed to another one with my son in Detroit. So, I mean, it's these types of things. You can do anything. You can do anything. And you know what? Deverell is a f perfect example of somebody that is not uh, uh, shy, not afraid. He's a deep thinker. And he's still after life. He's still after it. I mean, he's accomplished all these things. But, man, it, it sounds like you're just getting warmed up. And, you know, you're saying yes to things. Again, say yes to things. I'm telling my family, my boys, my, you know, people around me all the time, say yes, say yes. Yes, say you know? yes. I mean, and, and, and be, 
a person of your word, a woman of your word, be a man of your word, to say, hey, I'll be there, you know, and I'm hoping that over the years, that if I said I would be here or I'll do this, then I'm, I've been here, and I've been here with, with bells on because I'm a man of my word, but I also enjoy the, I enjoy the, the, the camaraderie, the, the, the building, the team building, the, the, the functions, the outlets, you, the people. You, you enjoy people. You enjoy yes. getting to know people and, and uh, looking them in the eye. And uh, Sheila, she told me this morning, she's like, I love that guy. He smacked me in the head when I was driving. <laughs> That's the thing that she, she she's like, you know, I, I wasn't doing this right. You just gave me a little tap upside the head there. Come on, wake up. Let's go. Sheila, if you listen to this, it wasn't it wasn't a smack up the head, it was encouragement. You know what I, mean? I don't want you to look at anything, it was encouragement. I was encouraging you to yes, do a better right. job. That's I know right. you have it in you, Sheila, wherever you if are. You know. I know you have it in you. I, I can see it in your eyes. You had that fire in your eyes. And I was just trying to to, to motivate you to do a little bit more in that fight in you, girl. I know you have it. <laughs> and if you know the barrel, you know that that is with a smile on his face. You feel pumped afterwards, and only he can uh, express encouragement that way. It's awesome. Training with the barrel is like it's 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 an experience. Yeah, no, I'm studying like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look y'all. Andy Miller knocks his money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket. Engine get to rocket. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock. No, Russell Wilson.